Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here, and what I got for you today is a review of the new G-Tang T908W. Uh, now, with the W in that, you could tell right away, along with my phone being attached to the, its controller, that it is another Wi-Fi FPV flyer. Um, it uh, has a little 0.3 megapixel camera for doing such, but uh, something special about the G-Tang T908W is it's another collapsible quadcopter. These all, every one of these pods, motor pods, disconnect, you know, so you, you can easily carry it and put it back together again once you get out in the field. The way you know which way the these go is there's a little brace bar on the back that sweeps in a general direction. You always want it to sweep outward from the quadcopter. So this one here would be, if you put it in, would be toward this side here so it sweeps down. And this one here, if you plug it in, it has a little plug and it plugs in like so. Upside down. <laughs> if you plug it in, it will also that sway bar will also sweep uh, in outward from the center of the quadcopter. Um, it has a little battery on it. It is a proprietary battery. It is a removable proprietary battery, I believe. Hold on. I charge, but you have to charge it. I wouldn't re recommend removing it because you don't need to remove it to recharge it. You re well, I'm going to leave it in for now. But you recharge it while it's plugged into the quadcopter. Um, it's removable. I guess you can buy spares if they ever make spares for this. But uh, the way you charge it, you plug into the charging port on the quadcopter right there. Other than that, it is a very unique looking shape. Very different. Different looking shape than others. Here, you also want to plug in, when you put these together, you want to plug in these little pins in the front here so that these interconnect. There's two pins on the front here that interconnect the pods. So that is the quadcopter, essentially. Its on-off switch is on the top here. You hold it down, and it turns the quadcopter on. Let's go over the controller. The controller is very basic. Um, on the top, you have takeoff and landing button right there. If you want to do automatic takeoff or landing. I believe you have to start the motors first by going down and out before you do a takeoff or landing. And it has headless mode and one key return, which you activate by the upper right button. And emergency stop is activated by pulling pressing down both buttons simultaneously. The left pitch or uh, throttle yaw stick, if you press into it, uh, you can change the rates on the quad cup. And the right pitch roll stick, I'm not sure if it does flips, but it seems to have a flip button here. It wasn't described in the directions that it can do flips, but I'm going to try it by pressing that right button there and see if it'll do flip for us when we take off. And here's the on-off switch. So let's go for a flight of the G-Tang DT908W and see how it performs. Hope you enjoy this flight. Okay, this is the GT uh, app available on Google Play and iTunes, and we're going to hit play on this. And we should have FPV view. And I'm going to start the motors first, actually. Let's see if we can get those motors started. Because I want to... Okay, then I'm going to hit record. And then we're going to take off. So let's hit that automatic takeoff button. And I got a little bit of forward drift but that's fine forward drift is always good especially for outdoor okay this is low rate let's go to higher rate intermediate do we have expert no beginner and inter intermediate well actually this is expert maybe so let's bring it in close this is what it looks like you know with those that cage on it you, you can deduce that this is probably meant for uh, indoor flying Let's see if I show up. How do you like my shirt today, folks? <laughs> uh, <laughs> always got to show off my tie-dye shirts. But let's set it up and show its camera. Right about there. And then we're going to rotate. There's our new school. The tennis courts. The soccer field that I normally fly at. And looking forward, our Home Depot and the rest of Leroy Jackson Park over there. <laughs> and coming back, Dad. That's smooth and gentle flyer, I'll tell you that. Uh, if you got any window, as you can probably guess by those, those cages around the propellers, this is not an acrobatic flyer at, at, by any means at all. You know, it's just a smooth, slow flyer. 
So yeah, any wind at all, this is going to have some problems with. Because look at the pitch on that. I got a slight breeze coming from that direction. Very slight breeze. And I can just barely fight it. Let's try that. Let's go forward a bit. Upwind. And I'm going to press this right button and see if it flips. No. Does nothing at all. So no flips. <laughs> they probably realize that this is not going to flip very well. Let me hit stop the record button there. Going upwind a bit. I want to start the video one more time. And then we're going to go back up again. Get a video of the area. Let's send it way upwind. Huh. There's three rates on this thing. <laughs> okay, going back upwind again. And coming back down low again. Pulling down throttle. It doesn't come down very fast either, so. Again, mainly meant for indoor flying. And it's just not very maneuverable at all. Indoor beginner's flyer, I would limit this to. Okay, headless mode. That was one key return. I'm pushing forward, so this is the headless mode. Wait. One, two, three. Let me land this for a second, folks. It's also starting to build up a drift on this thing. So bringing it down slowly to a landing. And stopping that video recording. And hitting video recording again. And hitting take off. Oh, I can start the motors. And taking off. Take off button. And headless mode. So that's the headless mode direction. Uh -oh. And it's also starting to land itself because I can see its lights blinking. So I think its power is almost at. That's a, that's a return to home, folks. I better give it a little more power. <laughs> yeah, it's landing. So pressing the land button. So that's that's a G-Tag T908W. <laughs> that was an automatic landing there. <laughs> uh, well, it struggles in the air. You can see that. Uh, meant for indoor flying. Uh, beginners learn to fly quadcopter flying around inside your living room while being protected by this cage here. Not a good, very good outdoor flyer at all, so I would not recommend taking it outdoors. So I hope you enjoyed this flight, this quadcopter 101. Signing out.